Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Ross. Today's lesson is going to be short and sweet. It's about duplicating a record, how you can duplicate a record in one of your forms with just a single click. Today's question comes from Tanya. She says, I need a button that can duplicate, copy, an entire record into a new record. My original database had a button to duplicate records, but it's corrupt now and doesn't work. I'm assuming you've tried a compact and repair. The most common reason we used it was to duplicate a product or project page where everything would be the same except for one or two fields that saved time and kept data consistent. Yes, I can definitely see where you would find this useful. I've got a couple of buttons like this in my database. Um, one for my blog entries, for example, where I've got a, a certain layout and a template where I can click a button, it makes a copy of it, then I just fill in new details and I put a new title in it, but it saves all the formatting and the layout. And yes, I'm a nerd. I keep my blog entries in a database. Of course. Who doesn't? Okay, so now funny story. It's been so long since I've done the, the basic beginner level classes that I forgot all about a simple feature that will make this job a, a two-second uh, insert into your form. But I was trying to think of all kinds of advanced developer ways to do this with VBA, with SQL, with macros. I forgot there is a simple command button wizard to duplicate a record. And here's how you use it. Open up a form like your customer form. Let's say you want to duplicate this. Let's say you've got someone else from the same company, same family, whatever, just want to change the first name, but you want a separate record. So right click, go to design view, bring up the design ribbon here, go to controls, find the command button, drop it anywhere on your form, go to record operations, duplicate record, next, picture or text, I usually use text, next, give the button a meaningful name, dupe record or whatever you want to call it, and then finish. And there's your button. And that's really all you have to do. <laughs> it's that simple. Save it, close it, reopen it. Here's Richard Ross, record one of five. Watch this, hit duplicate record. Notice I'm customer ID one. Boom, now I'm customer ID seven. And now you can just make your changes, right? That's it, that's all you have to do. Duplicate record button. Now the trick is if this has related records you need to copy, like for example, if you had customers with contacts and you wanted to copy that information, that would require a little bit more than just a simple uh, duplicate button. So if anyone wants to see how to do that, let me know and I can put that in one of my classes because that's going to involve either some macros or some SQL or something a little more advanced than just a single button. But for one record at a time, this will work just fine. Oh, and before I sign off, because I know someone's going to ask, if the wizard does not run when you drop the button on your form, go to your toolbox here and make sure that your command, or excuse me, control wizards are active. This use control wizards should be selected. All right, and that's it. Thanks, I hope you learned something. That was a quick and simple tech help. But again, it's been so long since I've used those command button wizards because I, I preach in my classes, don't use the wizards because I prefer teaching people how to write VBA. So I forgot all about it. And I looked, went back and looked in all of my uh, course outlines from previous classes, and I've never covered it. So <laughs> this is a good thing. Okay, if you're watching me on YouTube, make sure you click on the subscribe button and pick all, ring the bell, so you get notifications when I release new videos. If you're watching me on my website, make sure you subscribe to my Access Forum. Submit your questions to me via my Tech Help page. Or, of course, you can email me. There's all the fun stuff. Blog, Facebook, Twitter, blah, blah, blah. Free access, level one, three-hour class. If you want to learn the basics of access, there you go. There's the link. I'll put it in the description below the video. If you like level one, there's a link for level two for $1. Thanks, and I hope you learned something.